today we are going to explore the working of a common household electrical protection equipment called MCB or miniature circuit breaker. Usually these are installed in the distribution board or DB in the residential electrical system. Before the arrival of MCB fuses were the equipment which fulfills the function of MCB. MCB protects electrical equipment from overcurrent and short circuits, if unnoticed, these failures can lead to fire or equipment failures. Compared to fuses, MCB are better in giving protection and functionality. Now let us see how MCB is installed in our houses and how it protect the electrical appliances from overcurrent and short circuit. For your understanding I have shown a simple circuit with MCB in line. Case 1. Normal current flowing through the circuit, here circuit will work normal. Case 2. Overcurrent, if there is no MCB, this overcurrent may flow through the appliances causing damages. If we install an MCB, it will trip and isolate the appliance from electric power. Case 3. Short circuit, this is a dangerous situation of phase and neutral getting short circuited, allowing enormous amount of current to flow through the circuit. This may lead to fire accidents. If MCB is provided in the circuit, it will isolate the circuit immediately thereby avoiding such a danger. MCB is selected according to the equipment or the circuit rating, for example an MCB rated for 32 amperes will trip if current flowing through it is more than 32 amperes. But the speed of tripping or response of MCB depend on the amount of current flowing above its rated current. This response of MCB is explained in the tripping curve. There are different tripping curves which makes us to select MCB with different response, even for the same rating. The tripping curves of the MCBs are denoted by alphabets such as B, C, D, K, and Z along with its rated current. It's easy to understand from the curve at which current MCB will trip actually. Say for example, for a 32A MCB, if 32 multiply by 1.5 times current flows, MCB may trip in say 50 seconds, but if 32 multiply by 3 times current flows, it may trip in 2 seconds. Now let us see the internals of an MCB and its operation. This is how an MCB looks like when it is opened. Let's look into each and every part. Actuator lever. It manually trips or resets breaker. Actuator mechanism. This part forces contacts together or apart. Contacts. Current flows through the contacts when closed brakes current when separated terminal for line load power there are two terminals one incoming and one outgoing bimetallic strip when the MCB is switched on the current flows through the input terminal to the bimetallic strip magnetic tripping coil and to the output terminal when a small overcurrent is continuously passed through the MCB the bimetallic strip inside will bend and trigger the actuator latch mechanism, this trigger will cause the contact to separate. Solenoid coil. When a very high current is passed through the MCB the magnetic tripping coil will be magnetized and it will trigger the actuator latch mechanism, this trigger will cause the contact to separate. Arc Divider Extinguisher This part breaks main arc into smaller arcs and extinguishes them. During overcurrent MCB trips due to the heating and deforming action of bimetallic strip. So this is called thermal trip. 
During short circuit, MCV trips due to the magnetising action of solenoid coil, so this is called magnetic trip. Till now I was speaking about the basics of an MCV which a common man should know, if you want more deep information on any particular portion, please do comment. I will surely come back with a video. Thank you.